Hi people, welcome to my channel. Today I was reading a very very interesting article in the newspaper this morning wherein uh, it said that only 8% of the people are able to carry forward their new resolution. Only 8% of the people are able to be successful performing the new year resolution or in making those resolution into a habit. Now I was wondering why this percentage is so less, like less than 10% of the people succeed and rest of us fail. What is the reason behind it? And then after contemplating about it, I found out that the reason is procrastination. All of us are in this 21st century world are struggling to overcome procrastination. We all are slaves to the horse of procrastination and we all tend to indulge into activities and tend to waste so much time that we are not able to develop a successful career. So here comes the role of certain tips that you can incorporate in your life so that when you're preparing for this UGC net exam, you are actually able to be victorious over the ghost of procrastination and you are able to give your 100% to the exam. Because if you give your 100%, then life will definitely pay you back. So the first tip that I'm going to talk about in this video is that you need to say no to distractions. It is very important. Make a not to do list. You might be wondering what is Arpita talking about making a not to do list like we all have to make a to do list but Arpita is telling us to make a not to do list. Yes guys I'm telling you to make a not to do list because unless and until you don't make a not to do list you will never be able to concentrate on the items that are listed in the to do list. What happens is that whenever you are working on something which is there on your to do list somewhere you get distracted due to the items that are pulling your attention which are there in the not to do list. For example, like there were several friends of mine who started watching Game of Thrones while they were preparing for UGC net exam and they were not able to clear it. Now you can very well wonder why was that so? Because Game of Thrones is such a, an addictive television show that if you start watching one episode, you cannot resist and you will keep on watching the entire season and then season after season and then you will realize that okay, kal exam hai aur agar aaj mujhe kuch aata hai to that is just the names of the characters of Game of Thrones and that will not help you in your exam. So it is important that you build a not to do list according to what distracts you. For example, I am a person who get addictive to certain TV shows. When I was preparing for my net exam, I made sure that the PC in which I used to work, I used to totally put all the television shows which were there in my PC to a different laptop so that when I'm working on the PC, I don't feel an urge to just watch that particular clip or that particular show. Plus what you need to understand is that whenever you're preparing for a competitive exam, there are things which will try to pull you down. For example, there will be certain set of people in your life who are distractors, like who will demoralize you to the extent that you will think that I can never uh, achieve success in this exam. There will be people uh, in your friend circle who will try to tell you certain writers or certain questions that will put your morale down, that will make you feel as if you have not studied anything. So it is very important that you keep yourself away from such people. On top of that, what is important is that if you're addicted to any, uh, you know, particular Android game or PlayStation game, then make sure that you keep that aside because all these things will somewhere pull you towards them. Our brain knows what is right, what is wrong, but what where the brain fails is that we work on pleasure principle our brain our hormones work on pleasure principle whenever we get pleasure from something we will automatically get into that stream not aware of the thing that somewhere this pleasure thing might not be right for my life at this point of time so it is very important that you keep yourself away from the pleasurable things. For example, when a person is on a diet, it is very important that the person doesn't taste any uh, sweet things because when you just taste sugar, you feel craving to have it more. Unless and until you've not touched sugar, you feel as if you have the power to resist it. But once you touch sugar, then sugar gets the power and you actually become a slave to sugar. The same thing happens with all the addictive things. When you are working on those addictive things, when you're associated to those addictive things, you will find that they have the power, they become the masters. The second important thing that actually helps you uh, while you're preparing is to break down things into smaller chunks. 
what is important guys is that whenever we are uh, working on any important writer like a big writer like Shakespeare who has written so many works we get so overwhelmed कि हमें लगता है हम ये chunk कभी खत्म नहीं कर पाएंगे ये एक topic कभी finish होगा ही नहीं it is so endless and that is why we keep on procrastinating it कि अच्छा आज तो दो ही घंटे आज तो एक ही घंटा है अब तो क्या ही करेंगे and sort of those ideas keep on running in our mind where you can win the battle is that divide a bigger chunk into smaller chunks make it into bite sized lessons make it so small that you are able to finish the target in 30 minutes or 45 minutes not more than 1 hour so that even if in a day you are not able to give more than 2 hours at least you can complete two chunks of that particular topic so always try to make and divide a bigger chunk into smaller chunks which you can complete and make the goals very realistic we all are in this realm of imagination we overestimate our abilities we think that okay aaj ke din mein i will complete all the five romantic writers major poets now that is not practically possible because you will get overwhelmed you will get so frustrated that you will not even begin with the romantic writers so it is important that give yourself realistic targets as well as divide a major writer into smaller parts and work on each an individual chunk and once you finish every chunk reward yourself because every time you reward yourself every time you appreciate yourself your brain is motivated to work for you again because agar aap apne dimag ko daatte rahenge ki yaar ye bhi nahi hota mujhse to yaad bhi nahi hota mujhse to padhai nahi hoti main to kya hi karunga life mein all these things if they keep on hampering all these things if they keep on haunting your brain you will find that you will never be able to be successful in your endeavors because somewhere you are actually working in the opposite mechanism your brain needs appreciation we all feel good when we are appreciating if you have two scenarios in one scenario your parents appreciate your efforts you will be boosted to do more okay you will you will have this feeling that yes i will do more i will make them proud and if your parents keep on cribbing criticizing you you will find that you will get into a zone where you don't want to work anymore for them you don't want that they should be happy because of you this is how it works similarly if the external criticism hampers us similarly the internal will hampers us more because external criticism is like a knife if other person is trying to kill you then you can at least save yourself but if i'm trying to kill myself through the words to the harsh words that i'm using for myself then nobody can stop me from that so these are the two things that you must keep in mind when you are preparing for ugc net english literature because somewhere these two things will help you in building your stamina and in following a proper study routine now the next important thing that we am going to talk about in this video is the pomodoro technique now pomodoro technique is very influential technique in psychology pomodoro technique says that every time you take up a task take a task which is not more than 30 minutes of time okay now take up a task do it for 25 minutes then take a 5 minutes break and then reset the timer and make sure that you don't get into the distraction into any distraction when while you're working in the task whenever you have a distracting thought think about it and tell the thought that come after 25 minutes when i'm through with this work pomodoro technique helps you to keep check of your targets every day you can make a checklist wherein you can write all the things that you would like to do that day divide those things into chunk of 25 minutes and after every 25 minutes take a 5 minute break so that you can think about all those stuff which were disturbing you in the 25 minutes or you can relax yourself by listening songs or by doing some stretch ups or exercises so pomodoro technique is very influential because when you try to sit for a longer period of time you try to give a sitting of 3 hours 4 hours aapka dimag aadhi ghanta 45 minute mein kaam karna band kar jata hai and that is when you have all the distracting thoughts coming up so it is important that just in order to break the task into 30 minutes so that every time you have a distracting thought you can tell yourself that i just need to work on this thing for 30 minutes and after 30 minutes i can definitely think about what is distracting me 
also at the same time do remember one very 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 essential thing which is called ulysses pact now if you have uh, read ulysses you must be aware of this thing that odyssey when he was going on the ship he was quite sure that he will be distracted by the siren song and that is why he attached himself to the ship okay so he actually uh, made sure that he tied himself to the ship mast so that he is not distracted when the siren song is played the same thing applies to you you need to also work on the same strategy of which was followed by uh, odessi because odessi became so successful because he had the power to overcome all the distractions similarly if you have a target in your mind and you can just tie yourself to the target and you can make sure that you're not distracted at any cost i'm sure that success will be yours and it will be yours very soon so you must know that you have a goal in your life which is clearing ugc net english and you have to tie yourself to that goal and you have to keep all the other things aside uh, one very important thing that can help you in this process is listening to motivational songs whenever you take a break okay while the pomodoro technique you are following it if you take a break do listen to some really really motivational songs like i had a entire playlist of motivational songs from bhag milka bhag laksh movie from mary com and i used to listen to them constantly so that i can keep myself boosted throughout the preparation and i know that yes these people worked so hard and they were able to make a mark on this world similarly if i work hard i can also make my parents proud i can achieve the goals that i have in my mind and i can do so good in my life so that is how motivational songs will help you to keep yourself on track also at the same time do remember that there is this beautiful movie pursuit of happiness in which the father tells his son that don't ever think bad when people say that you can't do it because when people say you can't do it you You just need to keep your focus on the your goal, and you should not listen to them. Because even if I, being your father, even if I say that you cannot do it, don't listen to me. Just keep your focus on the goal and keep working towards it. Keep striving towards it, and that is where the success lies, and that is what is the key to success. So that's it. With this note, I end this video. I'll be meeting you in my next video lecture. Till the time I meet next. happy learning and before you go do subscribe to this channel i post videos every saturday and every sunday to help ugc net aspirants if you have not gone to my channel go to my youtube channel look at all the videos i've posted and if you have not watched any of them do go and watch because every time i post a video i make sure that i give you certain important details which are relevant from net point of view at the same time go to my social media platforms and subscribe to all the social media channels so that every time i post a go net quiz you are updated about it if you've not visited my website then it's a humble request go and visit arpitakarva.com you will find a list of writers which you can note down in your register and then with the help of those writers you can start preparing for net exam because those are the writers which have been asked frequently in the net so if you have command over those writers i'm pretty sure that you will definitely uh, win this battle and you will definitely clear the next net exam so with that note i end the video happy learning keep loving literature